All right, welcome back to my latest series. Take a basic English sentence and then show you how a native speaker would say it. Let's get started. Should we buy this new advanced coffee machine for our coffee shop? No, I calculated the cost. Let's just use the one we've got. Oh, should we pick up this new state-of-the-art coffee machine for our coffee shop? Nah, I ran the numbers. Let's just stick with the one we've got. Okay, so pick up. Pick up actually has many, many meanings, but right here, it just means to buy. It is super duper common for native speakers to say pick up instead of buy if you're thinking of buying small items like groceries or household goods. For instance, I need to pick up some soap from the store. I need to pick up some soap from the store. I'm going to go pick up some food from the supermarket. I'm going to go pick up some food from the supermarket. State of the art. State of the art. State of the art. State of the art. State of the art is just an adjective that means it's the latest, newest, coolest, well, maybe not coolest, but best technology. So for instance, in 2019, the iPhone 11 is state of the art. In 2019, the iPhone 11 is state of the art. Hospitals use state of the art equipment to perform surgery. Hospitals use state-of-the-art equipment to perform surgery. Run the numbers. Run the numbers means to calculate the cost of something to decide should I buy it or should I not buy it. Basically, is it worth it to buy it? Usually this is for more expensive items like a car or a house or a computer. For instance, I would like to run the numbers to see if I want to buy a new car or just use my old car. Or you can say, I ran the numbers and I decided not to buy that new TV. I ran the numbers and decided I'm not going to buy that new TV. Stick with. Stick with means to use your current process or your current thing and not change. Hmm, should I buy a new computer or stick with my old one? Hmm, should I buy a new TV or stick with the old one? All right, great. Now you know what all the phrases mean. Let's take a look at the native version again. Oh, should we pick up this new state-of-the-art coffee machine for our coffee shop? Nah, I ran the numbers. Let's just stick with the one we've got. Not bad, right? That wasn't so hard. But if you need a little bit more practice, you can always rewatch the video and then take the quiz again. There are tons and tons of phrases that native speakers use that you won't find in a textbook. I suggest listening for when native speakers use these phrases and when they use them, and then you can practice using them too. And this will help take your English to the next level. And if you got a bunch of extra free time on your hands and you've got nothing to do, check out some of my other videos. Thank you.